Hachi ma! Let's read together, class. This. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. This video is for shits and giggles. It is not a true representation of everything that the country holds dear and is amazing about. And why I love this country, this video is just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Annyeonghaseyo! Goeiedag, goeiemiddag, good evening and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tian, I'm 28 years old and we're back again with Ryan. It feels like I've been neglecting Ryan. Ryan? I've been neglecting Ryan for such a long time, so I thought, you know what, let's bring Ryan back in and let him just say hello to all the people out there. So, hello people, hello Ryan, hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're ready for something little different, something little new that I was thinking about doing. I just wanted to do something where I just go, you know what, what the fuck, Maria? You know, just in the politest of ways, just go, what the what were you thinking? What were you doing? What's going on? This is just for those moments where you're living in a different country and it just not Something is just not sitting right with you. It's not working for you. If you could change it, you'll change it But it doesn't make you hate the country or love the country even less This will be about food. This will be about language. This will be about people. This will be about your own shitty mood or taste and shit <laughs> or something like that. This is really just putting it out there. Things that I don't like or didn't like. Things especially with my first impressions of Korea. So this will be things that I discovered or things that happened to me in the first few months in Korea. I know that's been a long time ago, but I wanted to start this one. No, huh, Korea. I wanted to start of really just going back to what was some of the first things that really got me down about Korea. And I think the first thing, number one, Hanna Il... Ilbon. I think. Ilbun. No, that would be one minute. Ilbun. Number one, I think. Chotponche. Chot, chotponche. Chotponche. I think Chotponche is number one. Anyway, anyway, number one, number one would definitely be the spitting thing. I mean, if you watch any videos about things that people don't like about Korea, the spitting thing will always, always be there. It will be in every countdown. This is in my countdown. Number one, spitting. People had this thing about spitting in the street. Now, I've known people back in South Africa, especially your smokers. It is usually your smokers, but I've seen children do it as well because I see older men do it and some women do it. Uh, and then they mimic that and then it's like, ew, gross, mm -mm. don't do that. I think in another video I have talked about this and I think in other videos I'll talk about this again because it's really just, nah, it's nah, it's nasty, it's nasty. But this spitting, for some reason people are thinking about spitting on the street. I've been spat on almost two or three times while walking the street and someone's just spitting and then the timing of my foot and the sidewalk were like seconds right just not for me to get spat on while walking in the street it's really it's a disgusting habit so what the fuck Korea? please stop just make it stop luckily now that everyone has to wear masks you see it it's more infrequent that it happens but it still happens now and then but luckily thankfully it doesn't happen a lot anymore and you don't see these random spit things on the floor anymore you don't you don't see that you don't no, 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 no. Okay. Anyway, number two, number two, I would have to say my word is what the fuck, Korea? What's up with your weather? What is with the summer? I nearly fainted and died so many times during my first summer in Korea. Now, Korea is known for having its two set seasons and then these few weeks of pure bliss during the spring seasons and the autumn seasons. Our autumn is just like about finished. So we are waiting apparently for our first rainfall for the winter and then after that will be winter. But to me it feels like winter. I mean I'm I'm wearing a beanie. <laughs> Go Ravenclaw, yeah. But why was it hot? I mean I'm from South Africa. I know hot weather. I know burning in the sun. I know all that. But damn, we did not I did not know about humidity. I did not know humidity was a thing that could make you feel so shitty and so bad. And that's literally just walking out into the thing. Like, what the fuck are you? What's up with the winter? What's up with the summer? I mean, I arrived here during the winter time and I was expecting cold weather. I knew it, it, it's new here. 
it snewed. I know that <laughs> it snowed in Korea, that I was fully prepared for that, but the summer I was not, no one. The research I did, did, did do did not prepare me for Korea's summer. It is humid, it is hot, you walk out there, it's just hot air pressing down on you, pressing down on me. And it was just, it's, it's almost, it's, it's, you cannot bear it. You can literally not bear it. I can almost not bear it. Luckily, most, 99% of places, they have air cons and fans and everything ready for you. So when you walk into a place, at least you know you walk into a safe space of cool, air-conditioned environment, blasting you with some coolness, some coldness. But when you have to walk out there, my gosh, do you fucking, it sucks. It sucks. And it's not just, it's not, and it's not a day thing. It's not a day thing. It's a day thing. It's a night thing. It's a morning thing. It's an evening thing. It's a 24 seven. You can die. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrendous. I hate summer weather. And my first summer here, my first summer here was the best time because of my work. I cannot wear short pants to work so side note embarrassing story so this will also come up again and i'm sorry side note is that during my first summer here i also got a fungal infection in very delicate areas because of it being so hot and me being in a long pants for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and it took me weeks to get rid of that fungal infection we are not embarrassed to talk about our fungal infections it is a normal thing it happens for those people suffering from fungal infection fiction you got it you get it we can get through this make sure to take the proper precautions that you don't get a fungal fiction during the summer seasons that's what i took away from it is aerate yourself you know lie down legs open let the fresh air blow through just so that you don't get a fungal infection because it's so fucking hot and humid and sweaty and sticky and ugly and gross and mm, mm, mm. summer no done we're done with done some goodbye summer number three is the double tax i didn't know the double tax is a thing i'm just made it up i'm lying fuck please no one no one no one no one no one take that seriously please it's just double tax but it wasn't double tax it was just and it's actually not that bad i just wanted to put it on because i didn't know that something like this existed but I pay tax, of course. Um, I am a legal working class man in Korea, so I have to pay tax, which is fine. I'm fine with it. T deduct the tax, deduct the salary. But all of a sudden, I got this envelope. Envelope thing. It wasn't an envelope. It's just like this folded up paper. And it's in Korean. And I didn't know what it does. And it said I owed money. And I'm like, but I've paid all my utilities, my gas, my water, my electricity. Everything is paid up to date. I, I don't understand why I got this fourth one and then i took it to the, to my boss and i'm like hey girl i did not talk to my boss like that hey one tongue name i did not talk to my boss like that but anyway was it was it my one tongue name was it someone but i took it to someone else and i was like what exactly is this and they're like oh this is like you song tax and i'm like what's you song tax and then they just explained that you have your tax tax for the country that you have to pay and then you also have like a small amount that I think you pay once a year for the district or area which is I live in the Yusong area district and don't that's too geographical for me so my mind just doesn't like provinces and districts and mm -mm. no too tired too early uh, we also just have to pay a fee for living there and maintenance and a small fee and like I'm putting it on you know, I'm being very dramatic about it it's double tax but it was it really wasn't much it was like what 8,000 won 10,000 won I think I could be wrong I could be, do not do not take this as it being law this is just what we have in this area this is what I had to pay I think you pay it once a year you pay a small fee for like I'm not sure if every place has it I just had that that was just a surprise to me I was like I'm already paying tax and then I just got double taxed for that I don't know no, I'm not exactly sure why I haven't really done any research because everyone in you song you have to pay it and I don't mind paying things like that because in the end it is put to good use and how do i know it because i can just look at my living conditions and i can look how much these areas have have improved around me and how well the system works so it is being used well i just wanted to put it in there just like randomly i got like a double tax thing which is weird the next thing this is number four i think am i even numbering these things correctly number four is the deodorant situation i think i've talked about this before as well but koreans they do not sweat like other people sweat 
I thought people sweat normally, but apparently across the country, across the world, in other countries, people sweat differently, which I was like, hmm, that's kind of fucked up. I hate sweating. Like, really, I hate it. I sweat a lot. I sweat easily. I sweat profusely. Not a fun thing. That's why I hate summer. Sweating. Mm Mm-mm. Don't like it. Love winter. Less sweating. I can cover up. Anyway, but you cannot find deodorant very easily here because Koreans don't really use deodorant. No, that does not mean that Koreans stink. It just means that they don't use, they do need the use of deodorant or antiperspirant deodorant. So they've got lovely aftershaves and lovely perfumes and scented this and scented that that you can splash on and put on and wear and everything. But for some reason, deodorant, antiperspirant deodorant is just not a thing that's happening in Korea, especially not the brand that I'm using because that's my life. Things like that happen. I use things, I do things, and then they don't have it. So now I'm forced to import it, which means it's very expensive, which means during Corona, I haven't received it and I've been waiting for almost two months now. So what the fuck, Korea? I could deal with the double taxing thing, but this deodorant situation kind of sucks because I do not want to smell like a uh, honking. I don't know what. Well, one, huh? get some deodorant. But you do find deodorant. You do find deodorant. The only thing is that the deodorant now becomes the or antiperspirant deodorant now becomes very expensive. If you don't know what antiperspirant deodorant is, then feel blessed. Feel blessed that you you have not had the opportunities of going through various types of antiperspirant deodorants, a roll, a spray, a stick, a gel, a crystal, trying to make sure that you do not smell like some kind of overworked sewer rat. Be thankful. You're lucky. I'm not. I wasn't. I had to go through these things. But yes, it's not that you don't find it. You do find it. It's just, it's more expensive. Um, you don't have a great selection. If I go to all of Young, for example, within the main sections, I maybe have two or three antiperspirant deodorants that I am well aware of that I know works for a fact. But the thing is, I don't like those antiperspirants because a lot of times antiperspirants with sweat, they leave stains, which does not look cute on an outfit. So you need to change it to a Nivea, a black and white. Hello, Nivea. Thank you for Nivea Invisible Black and White, which they now, now don't sell in Korea. So I have to get that shipped in if you're wondering what's happening in that area of my life. So, yeah, what the fuck, Korea? Get with the deodorant thing or just at least get that deodorant, please, because you had it before. You had it before, but now, 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 I don't know. I don't know now, but now it's not like, no, no deodorant anymore. So get with the program. Just get the deodorant, please. But yeah, most people in Korea, they don't sweat. And then the last thing, my other what the fuck moment in Korea was... Um, and I talked about that. I think I've talked about this one before as well, but the business hours or business schedule of Korea. So I come from a country where shops open around seven or eight o'clock, maybe nine at the latest, but then, then, you know, the hustle and bustle, it starts in Korea. Of course, businesses also start around seven, eight o'clock. We have to be at work. Things start. I don't have to, because my business schedule is a little bit different, but in Korea there's more a thing of they are more night owls than they are early birds they like doing things at night or after work and that includes a lot of their shopping so I've had the unfortunate experience where I would go somewhere early with the idea of I want to go early before it gets too crazy busy because in South Africa you would go to a place early But in Korea, it doesn't work like that. In Korea, you would go to a downtown area, a shopping area, and you'd go there at, let's let's make it even, let's say, 10.30. Let's not make it even early. Let me me not say 8 o'clock. 10.30, and then it's dead. There is barely a single soul on that street, and nothing is open, because everything opens between 11 or 12 in the afternoon. Thankfully, not evening, because that's just fucking ridiculous. But between 11 and 12 in the afternoon, I I want to get things done. A lot of times I want to get things done in the morning, so in the afternoon I can just do nothing. Because by the afternoon, I'm so lazy. I do not want to go anywhere. But now I have to wait until 11 or 12 to go to a store. And then I'm too lazy. And then I usually put it off for another time. Because I'm too lazy. But you do have rest you do have some restaurants or some cafes, some brunch places that open relatively earlier. 
usually around 8 or 9, but most places, even coffee shops, they sometimes also only open around 9 or 10 or 10 or 11. And that makes my life very difficult. It's like, what the fuck, Korea? I want to get my day started early. Why do you not open at normal times? But this is just their culture. This is their lifestyle. This is how they live. And in some cases, I'm thankful for that, especially going out at night. It being safe in Korea, it is actually nice on my schedule to be very lazy in the morning or do my work in the morning, go to work, work in the morning, actually go to work in the afternoon and in the evening I can go out, I can do shopping, I can hang out with friends or hang out with people or hang out by myself and there are pros and cons to it of course, it's just sometimes it sucks especially if you didn't know this before, if you didn't know it, if you weren't expecting it and you wake up at early in the morning, 9 o'clock, you're at your destination ready to do some shopping and then everything is closed because everything opens at 12 and I have to wait for about 3 hours to actually do some shopping. So, just remember that though, you're gonna have a what the fuck Korea moment if you think you're gonna go shopping at 12, which is not the case because Koreans don't work that way. And then there are other restaurants that open for some reason only like 3 or in the afternoon or at 7 at night or 10 at night and you're like, what the fuck? But then they usually, then they're like, then it's your party district. So these places open late because they want the partiers, they want the drunk people. And then that's how they get their business and get their business done. I don't understand it. I'm like, financially, does it make sense to open only like this small window with these drunk ass people? But if it's working, it's working. I cannot say anything. Um, yeah, that was my five what the fucks for today. What the fuck? Korea? What the fuck? Um... Look forward to seeing more of this. I'm going, I'm.